Hello and welcome. I am the student tie dip and shoe guy and this is a new playlist. I'm going to title it for beginners. Uh, this playlist and this video is a direct response to a question that was asked to me privately. So instead of going through a very lengthy typed reply, I told the young man that I would just make a video. Um, but before I get into that, I would like to thank because I meant to do it yesterday and then I got all thrown off by a couple things here at the house. I want to thank Scarecrow Games. Uh, Scarecrow Games took it upon himself. I did not ask. In fact, I did not even know about it right away. Uh, took it upon himself to give me a... Basically, he made a separate post over at Read It at Dipping Tobacco. Um, basically shouting me out. And... I didn't know what was going on. I had a unusual spike in subs, I guess, night before last. And I I didn't I, I just thought it was like I'm like, oh, okay, well that's good. It's double the normal amount, but and then I happened to go over to read it and found it afterwards and realized like that's why it jumped like that. So Scarecrow Games, I thank you because I I'm not the best at getting word out. I, I, I contact people one-on-one -on -one privately, but as I've said in the past, I'm not really, uh, I'm not even really tagging these videos much because I want sort of a good core group. And I think even at 300 and I think 25 subs, that, that, that's technically a core. There, there's a inner core. And you look at any of my comics, comics, comment sections and you'll you can basically see who they are but um at 325 that's still i'm i'm thinking that's core still um and i want that to be a quality core so the people that showed up that i'm guessing saw your post on read it have already been commenting and asking questions and throwing their two cents in so i thank you greatly um I, I really do, really do. Um, so, as far as this video, let's get let's get this going here because I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take. Um, okay, number one, when it comes to pinching, okay. Now the young man was sort of venting about having a problem pinching, not getting large enough pinches, pinches breaking apart. Um, and he had mentioned, you know, he had tried different brands and. He's new to dipping. I'm guessing he's a young man, but I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I started later. I mean, I was in my late 30s, or now. I was in my mid-30s when I started using smokeless tobacco. But if I seem like I'm talking to someone directly here, this video is actually to the person that asked the question. And everybody else can take what they want from it or leave what they want. So when it comes to pinching, um, I'm not going to be the normal person when it comes to pinching and like packing cans. And the main reason for that is because this is my everyday dip, Stoker Straight. Doesn't matter flavor-wise so much, but the cut does matter. So really, I don't pack cans. I learned a long time ago you start packing cans of stokers, when you go to take a pinch, you're pulling out half to all of the can in one shot. So I don't pack. The most I do is, if it's not in my pocket, and it's sitting flat, like on a table, on a countertop and whatnot, and I don't know where the tobacco is sitting in there, I will take it and do that, just to settle the product to one side, okay? I also don't take the largest pinches because I don't feel any need to have a big, you know, bulge in the front of my face. I don't find it comfortable, number one, but I'm not a young man. I'm, I mean, I'm not terribly old, but I am 42. I am not trying to impress anyone. I am not trying to posture in front of anyone. You know, it's just, I, I, I was never, even when I was younger, you know, the beat the chest type of guy, you know what I mean? 
just wasn't. I don't see a need for it. I definitely don't see a need for it now. Okay? So, I would not really personally worry about how big the pinches are. I know there's other channels on YouTube that, you know, they're like, oh, this is how you do it or whatnot. You know, I'm not going to get into that because every time I talk negatively about something along those lines, I seem to lose subs because those other channels and those other people seemingly have very strong followers. This is my deal. Look, you're going to take the can lid off. You're going to have the product settled to one side as such. Let me get some light on here. All right. You're going to go, now this is going to depend whether you're left or right-handed or whichever hand you're pinching with, but with me, I am right-handed. I am going to go to the left-hand side of the can, which is over here, all right? I'm going to get my pointer finger up above the product, all right? Let me see if I can get some better light on it. The, the, Stoker's is so dark, <laughs> that, that, that's why. So I'm going to get my finger above the product, all right, and then I'm going to take whatever size pinch I want, so whichever, and I'm going to jam my thumb down into the product, okay? And that's about as big as I usually take, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm going to have to hit the pause button because I just goofed up my hand real bad. Hold on. And I am back. Okay, so I'm holding this up front right now in the front of my mouth. All right. Now, if I start getting spread, I pick up with my tongue, going towards the lip, and throw it back on top. All right. Now, I used to always keep up front, and sometimes I still do, but a lot of the time, especially during videos for the sake of talking, I move it around the side, all the way around. So, really, the product you're using is very important, okay? Now, you... In, in your message to me, you, you went through some brands you tried, and they were full spectrum, okay? Um, Longhorn was one of the lower ones you mentioned. That's going to spread out along your gun, gum no matter what you do, okay? It's not you. It's the product, all right? It's going to spread out along the gum. It's not the worst, but it does do that. Every review I've done of this stuff, no matter what kind of Longhorn, it has done it, except for the pouches, obviously. Even lower tier stuff is even worse. When you start getting into dip products that aren't actually cut like dip products, like Kayak, there is no amount of work that you can do with your tongue that is going to keep that formed. Okay? So... If you really want to get bigger pinches and that's important to you, you may want to use certain products. Any of the Stoker's Long Cut would probably be the easiest, okay? After that, I'm going to have to say the Extra Long Cut Natural from Copenhagen. Also, Skull Products. Now, I am not a huge fan of Skull, admittedly. The product is too dry for my liking and not sweet enough. But the cut of Skull, the pinching ability on Skull products is near second to none. Maybe second behind Stoker's. Skull products, for whatever reason, I will give them that. I, you know, never a problem pinching them. Now, a lot of people don't like Skull. A lot of people talk trash on Skull. Now, they're quality products. And the cuts show in it, okay? So you may want to try, my number one would be Stoker's, then probably the Skull products. If you want something with a higher moisture level, the Skull Extras, but they only come in mint and wintergreen. 
and after them, the Copenhagen extra long cut, but it is a natural. So if you don't like natural, that one's obviously out. So you settle the product, whether you pack the can. Now, with finer cuts, I do pack cans. I don't usually do it on my videos because I'm dealing with full cans. But I, I like if I had a finer cut, if I have a Copenhagen product that I'm using personally, like off camera, I do usually pack those. It's just the stokers that I don't pack, all right? But I will settle it. So settle it, however, pack it, whatnot. Get your finger above the product and then ram your thumb in, depending how big the pinch, you wanna move it away and pinch. Stokers, I do not overly squeeze because the stuff is so moist. I want that moisture. I'm not trying to squeeze it out of it. But drier products, it's not going to matter. So like a Grizzly product or Skull Classic products, pinch down hard. If you want a bigger pinch, adjust how close your forefinger and your thumb is, okay, and pinch down on it as hard as you can, and throw it in. Now, I do not hold in the traditional spots for dip. That is a personal thing because issues I have with my gums at those points. I hold up front or I slide all the way around the side. All right? Floaters, again, you know, if you want to practice using your tongue to keep it together, keep it dead center up front. That way your tongue can access both sides easily without, you know. With your tongue, if this is your tongue, you're scooping down along the gum line and up and then putting it down on top of the pile. You're just repiling, okay? If the product is, if you're doing that nonstop, then you're using the wrong product, okay? So I hope this has helped. I don't want to go crazy long with this. I, I could keep talking on it, but I do have a habit of repeating myself on things. I, I, yeah, I do realize that. Um, so, seriously, don't worry. See, for young guys, if you are a young guy, you are going to be worried. Look, in life, in general, just my opinion, take it or leave it, you shouldn't, for, for the best of your person, for your being, you shouldn't, you should have a well-balanced idea of what people say about you, okay? You shouldn't be overly concerned about what people think. If whatever you're doing doesn't affect someone else, then you shouldn't worry about what that someone else is thinking of you, okay? It's called being your own man, all right? That may be an unpopular opinion, but I mean, I was, I was 20 at one time. I was 18 at one, you know. I call that when you're trying to put on a show because you're wor overly worried about what someone or people think of you or what you're doing, that's called posturing, okay? The street name for it is called fronting. By fronting and posturing like that now, when you get older, you'll most likely, the more you front and posture now as a young man, the more you'll be embarrassed by yourself when you're older, if that makes any sense, all right? Don't not try dip products because some channel said they're gay, okay? There's been plenty of products that I have not reviewed favorably. Favorably. <laughs> wow. Not one of them got a bad review from me because it was gay. Because that's sort of gay, really, at the end of the day. Um, there's been plenty of them that got a bad review from me because they were just crap products that you shouldn't waste your money on. But, you know... And those people that say stuff like that, those are the same guys that are putting on like ridiculous things in the front of their face and you know, okay, dude, you look like you have a freaking tumor growing out of your freaking jawline, that's all. It's not increasing really the, the nicotine intake. 
okay? A lot of the nicotine intake from dip is through the byproduct, the saliva tobacco mixture, okay? Besides, if you have a huge wad in the front of your face, the only contact nicotine that you're getting from the product actually resting on your inside your mouth is only on the edge of the product. Again, doesn't make much sense. Anyway, listen, I hope this has helped you out. Um, just settle the can, whether you pack it or whatnot. Finger above the product, thumb in where you want how big the pinch, and squeeze. I would go with Stoker's. After Stoker's, I go with Skull. If you want a moister Skull product, go with the Extras. After that, Copenhagen Extra Long Cut Natural. All right? And you did say that you had just restarted. It'll come, okay? Don't, but don't go out, you know, thinking that, you know, you're going to get a fine cut and, you know, you, it's not going to happen. You just started. You said it yourself. All right. Put the scales, tip the scales in your favor with the product you choose, number one. And everything else will fall in line afterwards. And then after a while, when you get better at it, you'll be able to switch off to other products if, if you want to. Anyway, I am a suit and tie dip and shoe guy. This is order night, so I do have to go. Uh, I do want to say hello, and if you have subscribed, thank you to Walker Tyra. Uh, I will be back shortly with a snooze review. Guys, do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.